If you were a Disney princess, who would you be? Cinderella, because she broke, homie. She just she represent it. me, yo. Let me borrow $20. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you hear that, Joseph? This is darling young man has volunteered to say grace. Go oh, ahead, sir. Uh, 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 dear Lord, um, well, th thank you for giving us such a uh, succulent meal. Uh, bless us, and please forgive us for anything that we've done or are, are doing right now. <sighs> don't, don't stop loving us. Don't stop, baby. Please don't stop all. And, uh, and let us just sw let us swallow our sins and both. Oh, oh, Christ! Oh, Christ! Praise Jesus! Praise Jesus! Praise Jesus! Feels good, don't it? And a good prayer leaves you drained. Uh, uh, okay, let's see! Guys, that was less than 30 seconds, bro. Both was counting. <laughs> In fact, I would argue that feminism in the world is dead. Transgenderism mm. killed it. Uh, Title IX now supports, advances, advocates for um, quote unquote trans women, that's biological men, having full access to women's sports and women's locker rooms. So if you reject biblical patriarchy, you just might get transgender patriarchy, mm. which is where we are right now. Feminism is dead, right? It's not about you getting equal rights with men, it's about you feeling different things, like it's totally stupid. Everybody, he pooped his pants. What's your age? I'm 24. 34. And how long you been together? We're approaching our year. Our one year anniversary will be September. So why go for a man who's 10 years older than you? <laughs> for me, um, I believe that older men have more maturity and there's a lot to learn from them. And I love that. I love a man that has life experience, that's traveled the world, that's left his hometown, that doesn't live with his mom. Um, and for me, that's very important. And I think that he's one of the older men that has that. But what red flags have you noticed with men who do live with their mom? Definitely like a mama's boy and they want a woman that just like kisses their feet but like they don't deserve their feet to be kissed, you know what I mean? Like I kiss my man's feet because he deserves it. And for you, why go for a girl who's 10 years younger? Well, I mean when you were 20 she was 10. Right, well obviously I wouldn't be talking to her and I wouldn't even know her because she's a 10 year old. Now what happened was for me, it's not about the age necessarily, it's about how receptive is she is to who I am as a man. And a woman who respects my authenticity, my leadership, and how I care myself, doesn't matter necessarily if she's like 10 years or 5 years or 4 years younger than me. I believe age is just a number, it does not define maturity, but like, there's a big possibility that you meet an older man who will be more mature because he has experienced life. But, I'll say this again, age doesn't define experience, like, a 20 years old boy can have more experience than a 30 years old man, so... He got cooked! Did you ever check my phone while we were no. dating? Never. True. What? Never that. No, there's no reason. <laughs> when I get in a relationship with someone, I give them all my trust. My 100% trust until you lose it. Did you ever cheat on me? No. Did not. True. Oh my god. Yeah, I was, yeah, they better be true. I, like, I, no I don't do that. Yo, for everyone out there, I do not cheat. I am not a cheater. He's my king from this day until his last day. Kind of ironic that a white man <laughs> is wearing a woman for Trump and a feminist for Trump when I consider did, myself a feminist and... Did you just assume my gender? You said, you said white man. Okay, I, I see your point. How do you know I'm not a woman? I see your point. I see your point. I, I'll, you need, I'll you need to check your white privilege, your white female privilege, I think. You think? A little bit. When the coin is flipped, they see how stupid they sound like.
Tomorrow is World Naked Gardening Day. I need to know, is there a naked gardening club in Philly? Mike would like to join. Yeah, I'd like to see the hose and the rakes and <laughs> trowels and all the equipment they use. No, you know, you know what a trowel is. <laughs> I, my heart stopped for a second. Okay. No. Yeah, uh, the, the, yeah, the gardening tools. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's what that's. Mulch, fertilizer. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh. The more educated and financially stable a woman is, the least likely she is dateable to most men. A lot of the times we attach, you know, our experiences to our accolades. And I think in real life, a lot of the issue that some of us have as black women, and I can speak from a place of experience, isn't the fact that we're successful. It's the fact that sometimes our energy and our attitude with that success be sh Sorry, yeah. but it's the truth. A lot of the times it's, I don't need this, I don't need that, I'm an independent, da, 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 da. I get my own. That's cool, baby, get your own. They love that in real life, but they still want to feel like, oh, daddy, I love you. Daddy, I need you. Daddy, I appreciate you. They still want to feel like that. So I think that sometimes we be so quick to say, you know, I, they mad because I'm getting money. Mad because I got a degree. They not mad at that. They want that. They want a partner. They mad at the energy that comes with that sometimes. And I think a lot of the times we need to know the difference between independence and hyper-independence. Yes. Independence, you on your own Hyper-independence is a trauma response. Bingo. The way most independent women carry themselves like they've made the world just because they have to pay the bills is uh, stupid. What's the freakiest thing you've ever done? Probably this interview. <laughs> what do you mean we haven't even done anything? You suck my <laughs> just back there. Okay. Videos of this Break my heart. Start sleeping with my ex. No one wants her ex. He looks like he snuck onto Earth. I don't want that. Damn! Feminism has definitely ruined all of that. Where it comes to men being men, men step up. There was I don't know if you guys saw that article that there was uh, some girl that was drowning and the guy saved her life and then he was like she was gonna sue him for touching her. Oh, he he touched me without my consent. Bitch, you were under the water, you were dying. Like he literally saved your life. And she's like, well, for a brief moment, I was grateful that I was alive. This is why men don't step up because when they do the right thing, Nick, could you search they get for that crucified. Story? If you want better men, be better women because it starts with you. How you act how you carry yourself, how you talk to them, treat a man like a king, he'll treat you like a queen. When you treat him well, there's no way he's gonna treat you like trash. He's gonna carry you like a damn one because he actually found one.